guys, what we're going to do is adjust the jack plate height to uh, adjust the motor height. So basically we're going to, if this is a slide master, we're going to loosen these two screw uh, nuts and there's two more on the other side. And then we're going to adjust the height of it with a bolt right there. So you can use a socket and you can screw it up or down and it'll adjust the motor. And um, ideally what you want to do is you want to use like a, make sure the bolt's level and put a, a level across touching the bottom of your pad and then measure the height all the way down to the ground and then once you've done that record that height and then you want to measure from the ground to the center of your shaft on your propeller so you want to take off the prop and um, once you've done that then you can uh, subtract the difference and find out exactly how far or above pad you are and most of the time as you raise your engine up you're gonna get a little more speed and performance but you have to watch your water pressure because if you come up too high then you're not gonna have the proper water pressure so I'm actually gonna adjust mine up and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Okay, what you want to do is um, before you start adjusting anything mark off with a pencil or a pen or something where the jack plate was as a reference point and uh, these bolts are on here pretty tight so you can use like a long bar like this to give you a leverage to loosen it. So I'll loosen all the other bolts and then we'll get back to you on how to adjust the uh, middle screw to actually. Okay guys, um, so I put the uh, socket here and you just start cranking to uh, raise or lower it and I found it wasn't going anywhere because there was a bit of a bind once you've loosened these screws and uh, one tip you can do is lower your motor down so the skeg down here so the skeg touches something like put a piece of wood so it doesn't damage it and lower it enough that the skeg will take a bit of the weight of the engine and then that, that'll free up uh, the uh, jack plate to move up and down and once you're done level it again and then um, then you can start cranking and, and you can see you just keep cranking and then just keep taking measurements and I was about five inches below pad which is way too much so I'm gonna bring it up to about three and then go test it down at down at the lake and uh, see how that goes and make sure my water pressure is still good so we'll keep doing this and we'll get back to you.